tonight at all Just wanna watch them stars fall But you don't wanna try to make up dreams Just to be seen I wanna lay here beside you Good morning everyone um, I'm back out of my camera again as usual and today I've come to a a beautiful birch woodland which I think is the biggest birch woodland in the UK um, right on the edge of the fens about half an hour drive from my house um, I came here a week ago and uh, found a beautiful lake in the middle of this woodland so I've come back today try and capture some images and uh, yeah just see what we can get it's, uh, it's a beautiful day for it um, not too bright and sunny quite uh, quite diffused light so yeah let's see what we can find high grass and bare feet Oh, but you each second is a tree hey, 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 I keep my balance next to you It's true So I don't know if you can hear in the distance all the, uh, the geese calling but we're now coming up to the lake so I'm just walking through this uh, path leading up to it with all this uh, wonderful bracken everywhere I don't know if you can see See so, yeah, behind me, it's all uh, it's all changing colour now. Now the autumn's just around the corner, so it really is. Yeah, it's quite beautiful at the moment. So yeah, here we go. We're just, just approaching the lake now. Um, yeah, lots of lovely sounds around here at the moment. The geese calling. You can hear a little grebe as well calling. And uh, oh, look at this amazing place behind me. Here is the lake. That's beautiful, and it's just stuck right in the middle of this birch woodland. Um, yeah, just taking the sounds of uh, nature at the moment, but uh, lots of birds calling. Yeah, just beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my camera up and uh, see if we can get some images. Oh, it's not what we see, it's what we choose to be. Fire breath. And, uh, just walking through this wood now, I can hear a little grebe calling. So I'm going to try and uh, try and locate it and see if I can get some photos. They're a very small bird. And, um, yeah, I can hear it, but I can't see it. So uh, let's see what happens. It's what we choose to be. So here's my uh, camera set up in the very low position. You can see the tripod legs are, are straight out and this is what I strive to do pretty much in all my images. Um, ideally I'd have the camera with the lens so it's just skimming across the top of the water. Um, the advantage of this, this is that it gives a whole different perspective to your image. The images become much more intimate and on the level of the actual subject you're photographing. Plus you can get some distance between the subject and the background, which means you can create that lovely blurred background, and create some separation, um, which always adds to an image. So yeah, if you can, not always possible, but if you can, try and get your camera down as low as possible and uh, you'll find your images uh, so much better. Greed down here. Uh, it looks like a baby one, so I'm gonna try and get some video. Okay, so here's the uh, raw file straight out of the camera. Um, I like the image, it's, uh, I like the composition and I love the patterns on the water. Quite a difficult shot actually because there's quite a lot of contrast between the 
lights and darks in the water and the birds quite pale. So what I did was, um, and I exposed for the highlights, which means the actually the bird's face falls into shadow. Now this is quite easily uh, rectified in Lightroom and you'll see in this next image where I've raised the shadows up in Lightroom to reveal more detail in the bird's face. I've also dropped the highlights to recover some of the highlights or the whites in the water. This has um, brought back some more detail in the water as well. And also pulled in some of the blue color that which has been re reflected in from the sky. So I quite like the picture. Um, one thing I don't like is the slight distraction on the left hand side of the bird in the water as I think it's, an old, it's a fallen leaf. And I will probably remove that in Photoshop just to just to make a cleaner image. Um, but that's you don't have to do that. It's my own personal taste. So here is the final image after being edited in Lightroom and Photoshop. Um, I took the liberty to remove the distracting leaf in the water, um, but that's purely to taste, so you don't have to do that. And I've run a little bit of noise reduction on the just on the water. Um, there was a slight bit of noise from the One DX Mark II, but it's very very small. So. But I've, I've run a little bit of noise reduction, that's smoothed it out. And all in all, I'm very pleased with the final result. I'll also put up another little grieve image, which I took about six months ago. And this is where I got very low down to the, to the water's edge. Uh, the, the lens was just above the, uh, the water line. And you'll see from the image what, it, what an impact that has on the final image. In this next raw file image of a Canada goose, um, I like the composition. It's, uh, it's using the rule of thirds, so the bird is in the lower third of the frame. Um, there's, if you look carefully though, there's quite a quite a distinct green cast to the whole image. Um, this is obviously being reflected from the green, very green water. And there's also some out of focus feathers on the water in the background, which I find a little bit distracting. Plus there's a feather stuck to the bird's bill which I will probably choose to remove in the final image. Um, you'll see in this next image, which is the Lightroom edited version, I've added some magenta in the tint to remove the green cast that you saw in the previous image. I've also upped the shadows to reveal a bit more detail in the bird's neck and just increased the whites to add a little bit more contrast as I thought the last image looked a bit flat. I've also added a small amount of vignette um, just to emphasize the bird in the frame. And here's the final image where I've removed the distracting highlights in the water behind the bird. I've cleaned up the bird's bill by removing that stuck feather. And I've also just run a small amount of noise reduction on the water just to smooth that out. But all in all, I'm very pleased with the final result. Well, as you can probably see from the video, the light has become very harsh, so I'm going to uh, call it a day now. Um, certainly not ideal for photography, but it's been um, it's been wonderful being in this woodland. It really is a stunning place, as you can see around me. It really is beautiful. Um, you can smell that autumn's in the air now. All the ferns are turning brown. So, but yeah, not so many images today. It was a, I say, a little bit bright for that, but I did get a couple, which I'll post at the end. And uh, I hope you like the technique of putting the camera down very low to the ground. It certainly does give a whole different perspective to your final images. It gives that separation between the subject and the background which allows you to blur it out and makes the images just more intimate really. So give it a try, let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to see some of your photos if you've got time to send them to me. Um, you can email them to me through my website. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, um, give the video a like. And I'll see you on the next one where I'll announce the winner of the print giveaway. So thanks for watching and see you soon.